Today's video is all about the curse staff and a build that allows you to one-shot nearly every single thing in the game for PvP purposes. What I mean by that is that if you take this build out using a 4.1 set, you can possibly instantly kill a full 8.3 player. Maybe not plate pl wearers, but you will be able to deal an insanely high amount of damage very quickly and almost guaranteed if the enemy does not have a, a certain helmet that purges your curses. Let me show you how the build works, and there has been some undocumented changes that aren't in the patch notes that have changed how these skills stack up and how they work. They tried to nerf the build, but in their programming hubris, they have messed up and made the skill Death Curse actually snapshot your current damage and not apply when the explosion occurs. So what I mean by that is that years ago, when you would cast curse, Death Curse on a player, right before the curse exploded, you could stack as much damage increasing stuff as possible to make it deal that much more damage. But with their changes, they actually made it easier to use. They made it where you stack your damage buffs first, apply the Death Curse, and then long after your buffs have dissipated, the Death Curse will have taken all of those damage buffs into heart when it decides to explode. So, with that said, the build is a little different. Also, I do want to note an, an, another interesting change with this build, is that the spell Armor Piercer, which reduces damage resistance, no longer stacks with the Stalker Hood's um, Mortal Agony spell. Okay, So, when you reduce an, enemy, an, bleh, an enemy's resistances with the Hood, you cannot also reduce their resistance with the Armor Piercer. It will not reduce their defense for some reason. I don't know if it's a bug, if it's going to be fixed, but lucky for us, there's actually a way higher DPS, much more better spell to use, and that is Grudge. Grudge is absolutely broken and overpowered right now to the point where I don't even know if I want to make this video. Okay, it's that strong, it's probably going to get nerfed, but even then, it's, it's an amazing choice. So, let me go over the build. And then I'm going to show you the combo and how it works and why it works and that it's super cheap on the budget so you can just go roam in the black zone and take out a, a really juicy geared player if he decides to dismount and fight you, okay? So, uh, with that said, here's the build. You're going to be using a curse staff with the first spell, the Vinyl Curse, okay? This is the most reliable way to apply curses to enemy players. This is a PvP build, by the way. Uh, for your W, you're going to be using Grudge, okay? This will deal an insane amount of damage later on. And let me tell you, remember how I told you your buffs snapshot with Death Curse? It works the same way with Grudge, okay? If you buff your damage up and then cast Grudge, even though your buffs are no longer running, as long as your Grudge is still active, you receive all of that damage bonus for the full duration of Grudge. But if you cast Grudge after your damage, uh, or... Before your damage buffs, you do not receive those damage buffs for the duration. So it's a little tricky to use. I'm going to show, show you how to use it. For the passive, you can use anything you want. I like using the Bane because I just like more auto attack damage. I think that's the highest way to burst down a player as quickly as possible. For your helmet, you're using the Stalker Hood with Mortal Agony and Balanced Mind. For your armor, you can really use whatever you want. I like Cleric Robe because it's a damage buff, it's an immunity. This is the only way to survive another Curse Staff user. Uh, this buys you two to three, this buys you three seconds. Three seconds to get your combo off and kill your opponent. Even when you die, you can still kill your opponent. As long as, like, this thing, it's three seconds and that's a lot of seconds of PvP. Hellion Shoes with Mark of Sacrifice and the damage buff. You're going to be using a Beef Stew. I'm not, for the demonstration of this video, I'm not using the Beef Stew. Now, for your cape, you can use whatever you want. Thetford Cape is great. Um, for budget PvP, I don't even use a cape. I just don't wear one. Uh, for your offhand, if you want the most damage, it's the Crypt Candle, but you're going to die pretty quick. For the next most damage, it's the Elder, uh, or the Moizak, I'm sorry. Um, because it boosts your auto attack damage as well, which is where your grudge comes from. Uh, however, it's also kind of pricey. So for ice, just for a budget, you use the shield. But if you're having trouble with your curse being interrupted, use a uh, Tome of Spells. Okay, use a Tome of Spells and that will make your E cast that much faster. Okay, right now my cast time for E is 0.47 seconds. With a shield, that time becomes 0.6 seconds. So you can see it's not that many point. It, it, it's literally fractions of a second, but it can buy you 
enough time to get that cast off before an enemy can react and, and stop you from casting it, which is what a lot of people do in PvP. And they're both cheap. Shield is cheap. The book is cheap. It's whatever you want to use. I'm using the book for, for, for today's purposes, okay? So here is the combo. And uh, I'm going to show you, uh, for, uh, against a target dummy, it doesn't really work too well because um, they have tons of health and you are reliant on getting their health below 50%. But let me show you the combo and then I'll show you the damage differential when we apply our Mortal Agony, okay? So, you're going to go ahead and you're going to press spacebar to begin auto attacking and spam your Q ability to cast curses on them. When they have three curse stacks, you push your boot ability. Cast your E, then cast Q, then cast D, W, and then start auto-attacking and spamming your Q again. And, and look at this, we're dealing an insane amount of damage here, okay? Now, you might have missed it, but our curse uh, explosion did a decent amount of damage there because it was being buffed uh, by the Mark of Sacrifice. It was being buffed by, you know, having four curse stacks, of course, right? Uh, however, because it was a target dummy, it was not being buffed by the Mortal Agony because we did not have it below 50% life. Against an actual player, they're going to be nearly dead before the curse ever explodes. The curse is a finisher if they decide to run away, if they decide to sprint away from you. Okay, because if they stand and fight, they're going to die. Let me show you the damage we're going to deal to this guy without the curse explosion, okay? So we got one curse. Two curse. We're attacking, we're dodging, we're weaving. Three curse. Boot time. Okay, boot time. Okay, four curse. Grudge activates. And right now, we have already done almost 3,000 HP damage. Now, this is with a tier 8 flat. Okay, this is tier 8 flat. Let me explain, you know, you're, you're going to deal a little bit less damage, but you're also, your opponent's not going to have 4,000 HP, okay? Even if you're, you're, you're not, you're, with a 4.1, with high spec, you're not going to deal half as much damage as a tier 8. You're going to deal a little, maybe like 10, 20% less, okay? You're still going to deal an insane amount of high damage, and you're going to melt targets with this. And partly why, let me just show you the damage, okay? With Grudge, we're going to cast Grudge, and I'm going to attack. Look at that, I hit that for 424. Uh, that was a 368, 386, I'm sorry, 386 damage per per hit, right? Now, uh, it's actually more DPS to just cast Grudge and then auto attack in between Vile Curses because the Vile Curse has a cast animation which allows your Grudge to build up and then launch, all right? It's actually more DPS to launch it more times than letting it stack to four. I know it's weird, but now with... Now with the boots, you know, and the helmet, look at our grudge now. Look at our grudge damage. We now hit for 509 per, per four stack, okay? And you can, like, we can kill a player in, what, four auto attacks? Five auto attacks? Something like that? That's without even cursing them at all. That's without using our explosion. That's without so many other things. But let me now show you the raw damage of our curse explosion our death curse against a target who when we're buffed and they are fully debuffed okay so for now i'm just gonna start attacking the target dummy here ignore what i'm doing i'm just getting the target dummy to 50 percent health because that's when the combo fully kicks off and against real players you're gonna have them below 50 percent life anyway okay so right now he has 10,000 hp 50 percent is below 5,000. there we go so we're gonna apply this the curse hit our boots Hit our curse, hit the last curse stack, hit the D. Now watch the curse explosion damage. It is 2,641. Insanely high. That that's the curse alone will kill a fully healed player, okay? Uh, although technically, uh, like like if you like here's the thing, right? Let's say you're fighting 2v1 against a healer and another guy. And that guy has less than 2,641 HP. Well, you get him below half, you hit him with your Mortal Agony, the healer tops him off, fully heals him, the Curse Explosion still kills him, 100 to 0. This deals more damage than a crossbow snipe. This deal, this single spell deals more damage in the entire game than anything else, and this combo deals more damage than anything else. Now, this is showing the combo without Everlasting Spirit going off, because a target dummy cannot attack me, I cannot trigger Everlasting Spirit. But that is an additional 20% damage, and if you are using different weapons or different grade weapons with higher IP or different IP, you know, your, your, your spec and all that matters, you're going to be dealing slightly more or slightly less, but it's still enough to kill an absolute... It, it, it kills... I'm sorry to hit the mic. It hits... It kills everything. This is, is an all-in spell. Yes, 
if you're fighting an opponent with cleric robe, they can they can make sure the curse the death curse doesn't kill them. However, you have grudge. Grudge is going to kill them, okay? Your curse stacks are going to kill them. And you're going to live long enough to see them die thanks to your cleric robe. Okay? They you even if you're outnumbered like 10v1, you have enough potential to kill one of those 10 people before they gang up on you and just shred you, okay? It's it's that crazy, it's that powerful. Here's the combo one last time. One curse stack, I'm auto-attacking. Two curse stack, I'm auto-attacking. Three curse stack, into boot. Cast death curse, cast vile curse. Hit him with the D, hit it the W. Hit hit the last, uh, just start spamming Q and spacebar. And your, your grudge is going to deal an immense amount of damage. Now here's the thing, you want to make sure that you cast that grudge after you cast mortal agony. And that while your boots are still buffed. It's a little tricky, but once you get the combo down, this build is an immense amount of fun in arenas. This build is it's pretty good in corrupted dungeons. I'm not going to go too much about corrupted dungeons. If you want to know more about corrupted dungeons, um I do have a build specifically for that for members only. It's 5 bucks a month, sorry. Um but regardless, it is it is great for arenas. It is great for open world ganking. It is it, this is the most fun arena build in the whole game. Find a guy that doesn't have... Uh, I'll, I'll show you the helmet real quick. It's a plate helmet. Uh, let me just scroll up real quick and show you. There's a specific plate helmet that protects against Death Curse. And that is the Guardian Helmet, okay? The Guardian Helmet has a spell which um, cleanses all damage over time effects. So your curse will still hit them, but it won't be with any curse stacks. But you're constantly applying it, so you might get one or two curse stacks in the explosion in there anyway. Uh, but it is, a, it is a pretty heavy counter to our build. However, because we're dealing so much damage with Grudge and the Vile Curse, and it's base, it's an all-in build. You, you have no escape, you have no running away, no repositioning. You As soon as you see the enemy, you fight to the death. And I guarantee you, if they aren't running Cleric Robe and Guardian Helmet, you win. Even though you might also die. You still win because they're going to be dead too. It's a draw. Y you either win or you draw. You don't lose with this build. This is the. <laughs> it's insane. And I didn't even get into how much more damage you'll deal if you throw a poison potion before you do it, okay? Even if your opponent uses giant boots or guardian boots and uses a giant growth potion, you're still going to kill them. You're still going to kill them, okay? Uh, it, it's, it's, it deals too much damage. It's going to be nerfed. Anyway, I just want to clarify how this build works and why it works. I'm Swole Benji. Thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay swole. If you found this video useful, make sure that you leave a like, okay? I haven't asked for that in a while. I read every comment. Every single comment, I read all of them, okay? I'm not too big of a YouTuber. I may not reply to every comment, but I do read every comment, okay? Uh, also, I make videos every day, so come back tomorrow for another video. And because of that, because I make daily videos... Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss them. It's that simple. You can always unsubscribe later if you want. If I make a little Yellow Zone Gank video that upsets you or upsets your Reddit bros, you can always unsub. It's whatever. I understand. It's fine. It's okay. Here's your little head pats. Little head pats. I don't know if you can hear that. But um, <laughs> if you want to if you wanna financially help me out, click the thanks button and leave a donation. If you want to become a channel member, five bucks a month. It'll get you access to that Corrupted Dungeon video I talked about earlier. Uh, which is my favorite Corrupted Dungeon build of all time. It's too good to make public. It's that good. I don't want it to get nerfed, okay? I am too afraid of it being nerfed. Um, also, if you want to learn how to be a YouTuber, I've got a video there. If you want to know what all the videos that you will have access to, when you become a channel member, you get access to private, more personal videos. And there's a playlist in the comment section with all of those videos that uh, you, you can like check out the description, maybe look at the thumbnail if one of those interests you. Click the join button, become a channel member. It's like, subscribe. You, you know on Twitch you can like become a sub, a subscriber? Well, it's the same on YouTube, it's just called being a channel member. It's way cooler, it's way better. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. Mwah.